Around the NFL, players are compared all of the time. Today, we will be going in deep to compare two quarterbacks. This comparison will surprise you and make sure you guys watch till the very end and let me know what you think. Now, let's get started with the video. I will not reveal the names of these players to you guys until the very end. This comparison will only be for the two quarterbacks first 182 starts. We will be going through their head to head stats, career accolades, and how they compare to other quarterbacks. Now let's begin the debate. To start this off, we will blindly compare the two players statistically. We'll start off with passing yards in which player 2 tops player 1 with over 20 more yards per game. Moving on to touchdowns, it is the same story so we'll just go ahead and go on to interceptions when the gap really widens and we see the difference between the two quarterbacks. If we just fast forward through the rest of these stats, we see head to head, pure numbers, player 2 holds the advantage. What makes this really interesting is that these two players achieved the same amount of wins in their first 182 games both winning 119 games, although player two has one less loss than player one. Clearly, statistically speaking, player two takes the cake in this part. Both of these players have gathered quite the impressive resume in their first 182 starts. They clearly have enough stuff to put on their shelves at home. Both attained 8 Pro Bowl selections and 1 Super Bowl win. But Player 1 has one more MVP. Along with that, Player 1 has won an Offensive Player of the Year, while Player 2 has not. Adding on top of that, Player 1 has one more All-Pro selection than Player 2. Which makes sense. The MVP of each year is typically nominated to the All-Pro team. During their respective years, they were both nominated to their All-Decade teams. Football is a team sport, but receiving awards and nominations for your performance is not a bad thing. As we can see, Player 1 received a little bit more accolades than Player 2. Looking at some of the best to ever do it at this position on this graph, shown by yards per game, as we can see, Drew Brees peaks this graph with 280 yards per game over his career. Then we trickle down to Troy Aikman, who makes Dak Prescott look like Patrick Mahomes. Aikman finds himself at the bottom of this graph with 200 yards per game. In red, we see player one and player two and where they fall. Player two is towards the top of the graph while player one is in the middle. Now, if we look at the top 10 quarterbacks of all time in passing yards, they are ranked as following in completion percentage. Now if we show where player 1 and player 2 place, they are both sandwiching Big Ben and Tom Brady. Moving on to how these players rank in interceptions per game, I don't know if it was just me, but I found it surprising that players like Dan Marino and Warren Moon average an interception per game they played. Even more shocking is how the two players fit into the list. Player 2 blows the whole list up, topping everyone at .47 interceptions per game while player 1 came in right above Warren Moon with 1.08. Now it's time to reveal the players. Player 1 is Brett Favre and player 2 is Aaron Rodgers. For my opinion, I would personally take Aaron Rodgers over Brett Favre. Almost no one in NFL history can compare to Aaron Rodgers and his ability to protect the ball. And that's a great thing to have at the quarterback position. Along with that, he always has style while he does it. And we always see a funny headline from him every season. Looking back through these comparisons, let me know which player you would rather take, Brett Favre or Aaron Rodgers. If at any point you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe while you're down there. And thank you guys for watching.